Hey, how you doing there? This is Stephanie Frank, Houston, Texas, and I'm with Marketing with Stephanie, FreedomMonts.com, and I wanted to go ahead and finish my third part series, or three part series, of how to customize your Empower Network uh, WordPress blog. The first one that we talked about was customizing your theme, uh, and it's been a little while since I did the video. I had to redo this one. Um, I wasn't quite happy with it, so we're going to talk today about how to add widgets to your blog. That's very, very simple. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to go to your Empower blog. First, I'm going to show you what widgets are. Um, last time we talked about the theme, which is this background here, this bright blue color. Um, I don't really particularly have a special picture. I just like colors. Um, this is the banner up here at the top that I've obviously customized. Now the widgets are here to the right. See my freedomops.com free marketing system, my empower blog, two traffic mojo, all these pictures over here to the right. These are all my customized widgets that I've added to my empower network blog. And what it does is if, if I click right here on this image, it's going to take you to my website where um, if you enter your information, you will get a video from me about my primary opportunity. So whatever you're wanting to put on your blog, whatever your primary business is or whatever affiliates you're, you are with, you can add widgets and you can customize those to where when people come to your blog, they can click on that and, you know, it gives them a direct link there. Say, for instance, here's my two traffic mojo. They click on that. It's going to take them to my free information, my lead capture page for that specific product. So it's really an amazing tool that you can use and you really need to take advantage of that. Don't, uh, don't let that slip out of your hand. Um, okay, so let's get started. What you need to do, go ahead and log into your Empower Network. Um, go to your dashboard. And all you need to do over here to the left, you want to go to Appearance. And if you notice, if I hover over, it automatically brings up a submenu. And today we're doing Widgets. So you just click on Widgets, and it's going to take you there. Now, I have a couple of inactive widgets down here. I used to have a login button, um, some other text, um, the weekly webinars that I've used. But all we're going to focus on today is the primary widget area, which is right here. Now, if you notice right here, all these ones that say text, all those pictures that you just saw right here, these were all, this is one text widget, this is another text widget, and so on. So I'm going to show you how you can capitalize on using those and um, customize it to what you are trying to affiliate your blog with. So, and before we do that, I want to show you down here, uh, you can do a bunch of different ones. The texts widgets are going to be your customizable ones. Um, now then you also have RSS, which is any system or anywhere that you have an RSS feed. For instance, I use YouTube down here where it says RSS videos. All you would do is just hold this down and drag it over uh, and put it the location you want and then it pops open here. It's very simple. All I did was I went to my YouTube channel and I got my RSS feed. I copied and pasted it right here. So every time I upload a video to my YouTube channel or to this YouTube channel, it's going to put it automatically on my blog and make it available for people to see. And let's go quickly to look at that down here at the bottom. That's what it looks like right here. So I, I did title it videos. And if you see, that's the RSS feed button there. Um, and here it is right here. That, you know, here's my, they just click on it and it takes them right to my YouTube channel to that video. So it's really excellent tool to keep that, um, keep your videos you know, together with your blog is a really good marketing tool. And then this is what's called a tag cloud. And I did title this tags as well. You can customize this in categories or tags. I've chosen tags. All it is is every single tag I've ever used, which is basically um, keyword I've used for any of my blogs, it's right here. So if someone's like, oh, traffic clicking, what's that? They can click on that. And it's going to take them inside my blog, my archives, everything that I have about profit clicking. How cool is that? I mean, that's like one click right there. So it's really, really amazing. Okay, so let's go back and go back here. So that's the RSS feed. That's the tag cloud. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes here. This is the cool, cool stuff. Okay, so if you want to customize and add your own images, the first thing you have to do Pick the image, make sure you have it the right size. We're not going to get into that. You need to do that. 
um, and save it to your hard drive to your computer. Now once you have had the image that you want to use, you can go to this website I love to use. It's called tinypic.com. Um, I'm just going to click on it and just refresh it here. And this is what it looks like when you go here. You do not have to log in. You did not have to join. I've never joined this um, site. I just upload my images and videos. It's a free image hosting video hosting site. So all you do is you click on file, click on browse, and then you go to your hard drive wherever it is and find that image that you want to make clickable. This one we're going to use the same one. You just put the insert the information there. Just leave the file type image, of course, unless you're using a video. You don't need to resize or anything like that. You should have already done that prior. Makes it a lot easier. Um, and you go to upload now. And once you click that, it's going to give you, see it says right here, please enter, add your photo for free. So you got to enter the captcha. And then just click upload now. And bam, there you go. Okay, so just to let you know, say for instance, if you wanted to use, um, just, you know, if you just need to, like socialmediabar.com. If you want to use a customizable link, um, for instance, if you'd like to share your Empower blog, uh, places like Facebook, they don't let you use an Empower network link. So you have to customize that link. And so, for instance, if you're using socialmediabar.com to do that customizable link and you want to add a picture to that link, this would be the um, copy and paste direct link that you would use for that. Okay, but we're not doing that. We need a HTML code so we can put it on our website. So we're going to use this top one here. So I just want to kind of differentiate uh, which one that is or which one to use. So you just highlight that. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back to our widgets dashboard. And all you would do is let's, we're going to do a new one here. We're going to take this text and say we're going to put it right on top there. We're going to add it. We want this right on the top. So once you move it over, you see how I dragged it over. It pops it open. You don't have to put a title. Um, I would suggest not using it because it just takes up more room and you want to have as much room as possible. And you just paste that um, image hosting that we just put in there. So now we have the image is being hosted here at Tiny Pig. Now we need to let it know when someone clicks on that image, where do you want them to go? You don't want them to go to tinypick.com. You want them to go to your money site or to the affiliate link that you want. So we have to change this right here, this first link. It's just going to be this whole thing. But you leave the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And then I'm going to put my marketing with stephanie.org. That's where I want this image to be to go once someone clicks, clicks on that. So after you've done that, that's it. You've got it all set up. You've got the image hosted. You know exactly where you want it to go and you click save. Now I always suggest clicking save twice just to make sure. And then that's it. You close it. Now let's go ahead and go back to the blog. Now it's not going to show up right away because it takes a few minutes, but it, I already have one, so it should be two of them here. So that's what that's all you do. You just give it a moment. But if you look down here to the left at the bottom, I'm going to come hover over this. If you notice when I hover over it, down at the bottom it's showing me where it's going to go. So I click on that image and it goes exactly where I want it to go, my marketingwithstephanie.org website. Bam. So that has been successful. Now, again, um it might take a few minutes to um finalize so don't be, you know, upset or don't be like, oh, no, I didn't do it right if it doesn't show up right away. Give it about two to five minutes before you start, you know, keep doing it over and over again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I already have that and I don't need to. So that is it. That is how you customize your Empower Network blog and add a widget. I hope that this has been helpful. Now, I am going to have another video after this that, that is my third video of my three-part series the first one was um, adding themes and customizing your theme this one was about widgets and my third one I'm going to go over how to change your photo um, and and how you can take care of that and that, like Gravatar um, is a great, really great tool to use as well to where you can add your picture like this right here every time you make a post so I hope you stay tuned for that third video 
and um, you can always go to marketingwithstephanie.org and find out what my free opportunity is. It's a free marketing website with freedomops.com that allows you to start making money as soon as tomorrow. And like I said, it's free to sign up. If you, if you would like more information about that, you can click the link right below this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something. God bless. Bye-bye.